we're going to talk today about pitch release points and how that affects the line of the pitch heading towards the batter. Um, in this case, we're going to we're going to highlight a pitcher that throws very over the top. In other words, his pitch angle is pretty much his release point is pretty much straight over his elbow. And what that's going to do is going to create a line that's heading back towards the right-handed batter. We're going to kind of uh, draw in a quick little stick figure here just to illustrate that this is a, a right-handed batter. Okay, so this pitch that he is throwing right now is a fastball and it's going to end up in the up and in part of the strike zone. But as you can see, it's heading towards the batter. Now what this does is it, is it, it has an effect that's a real effect because it's an inside fastball he has to hit the ball further out front so therefore the effective speed of the pitch is increased whenever it's heading this direction but the other thing that it does is psychologically this ball is heading towards him so immediately right out of the hand it speeds up the brain a little bit because this batter knows that this pitch is heading in a direction that's towards towards him so immediately his the first the first five feet of flight right out of the hand he's gonna read inside fastball now if this if this pitcher can also throw on the same line a cutter that let's just say he takes off uh, three miles an hour off of his fastball speed and the ball cuts just a little bit but starts off in the same basic line there are gonna be some a dramatic difference between these two pitches here's an example showing what we're talking about now this fastball, if it were heading in the up and in at 80 miles an hour, would end up being 84 EV, effective velocity, because it's it's in an area where the hitter has to hit the ball further out in front, and he has to hit it four miles an hour further out in front in order to be 100% on time. Now if he throws this little cutter that that's that ends up in this middle away box, it would end up being about 75 miles an hour of effective velocity. So right out of the hand both pitches are heading in what looks like an up and in fastball location but they end up one of them is at 84 and one of them is at 75 that is pretty much an extreme case of um, of how effective velocity can really affect the the actual reaction time of two pitches that look alike coming out of the hand now let's take a look at this up and in fastball and I'm going to show you a different release point so we can highlight what we're talking about. Now these two players are the same age bracket. Um, they both were instructed to p throw from the extreme first base side of the pitching rubber, but you can see there's two very different release points. One player is, is way over the top and the other player is, is um, kind of an extreme three quarters. And what that show, what that, what that's going to do now, if we have that same right-handed batter set up in here, one player is going to have this pitch going back towards him, this right-handed batter, whereas the other player is going to be going away from this right-handed batter as the pitch is on its way. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I mean, these two pitches are a little bit different in velocity, so you can see a little bit more of an arc, and they're going to two different places. One's going up and in, and the other one's going up and middle. But in in general, they're they're going to relatively close to the same place. In fact, let's um let's take a look at this pitch with another one that's going middle up. And we're going to see the same basic thing, except they're going to go to the same same box. So it's a little more apples to apples. But as you can see, there's completely different angles. And they're both throwing the, the pitch from the same exact spot on the pitching rubber. They're both right-handed pitchers, but yet very, very different pitch lines. And the reason for that is style, um, you know, philosophy, whatever it is, posture, 
there's all kinds of different things that are going to affect that but as you can see from from this example what we're, t we're trying to highlight today is basically that the line that this picture creates has an immediate effect on this guy's brain if as he's throwing this fastball in towards him it's going to speed his brain up because he everything coming out of his hand going in this direction towards him is going to feel like an inside fastball this one straightens out and ends up middle up if this were a cutter it would end up going here but if it were that fastball that went to the up and in location that we showed before we're talking about 84 miles an hour and with the same look 75 miles an hour coming out of the hand um, looking like that same fastball so in this hitter's brain we've created an illusion that's that's pretty real it's not just an illusion but there is there is illusion going on the pitch is coming towards him feels like an inside fastball again it's coming towards him and then it cuts to the outside part of the plate with a few miles an hour off the 80 mile an hour fastball and that ends up being at about 70 seven real speed and about 75 74 effective velocity so we're almost at 10 miles an hour by just taking three miles an hour off and throwing pitches in two different locations but all coming through this tunnel same tunnel at the same basic time 